Channel 9. Remember that? Remember when Channel 9 used to do that? Channel 9 used to have that jingle that did that back in the 70s and early 80s. Remember that? Bling! Channel 9! They were always doing that. It was, it was Channel 9 in Cincinnati always had that. <laughs> and we always made fun of it too. It was cool. Because it had like the, it was like a, some uh, musical instrument, like a, like a harp or something that went, Bring! and then they sang, Channel 9. Remember that? And somebody on the internet said it was the, the Johnny Man singers for the people that sang the jingle. So the, the, the singers that had that, uh, uh, that jingle. It was uh, the Johnny Mann Singers. And, uh, but they were always doing that back in the 70s. And I remember one time, I was woke up by it. I was, I remember, I, I, this was probably about 1980. I was probably about seven years old. And I remember one time, there was, uh, I was, I was, I was just getting up, I was just waking up in the morning, one morning, and the neighbors had their TV up really loud, and, and I heard it going, bring Channel 9, and, and then, and, 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 and I, I, and it, it, uh, and it uh, wrestled me sheer out of bed. I mean, I, I came leaping out of bed when I heard that because it, because that's how loud it was. I mean, it startled me. So I felt like opening up the window and yelling, "Bring, turn the damn thing off," or "Bring, turn it down." Bring, you're you're waking up the whole neighborhood. Bring! I'm gonna throw a rock through your window and hopefully hit the TV and break it. There's one time years later though they they ruined the TV by leaving it out in the rain, but but that was um Channel Nine. I can't remember how disappointed I was when Channel Nine finally got rid of that whole that whole logo package. It was sometime probably. Probably about 1982, they finally got rid of it. Because I used to watch the Dukes of Hazard uh, on that station. And I remember that they finally got rid of it. And I remember the old logo package in the 70s. They had that jingle. And it had like that that round, curvy, like that like that squat, uh, curvy 9. Remember that? that? That round, like, fat 9 that they always used. And it was, uh, but that was their, uh, that was their mating call. Bring, bring, chitlin. So, uh, so that was, uh, and that was back in the days when they had the Uncle Al show and Juvenile Court. Remember Juvenile Court? They had a court show on Channel 9. Now, this wasn't the court cases. Now, the, the litigants in Juvenile Court, since these were juvenile cases, they had actors portraying the litigants. But I think they were actually based on, like, transcripts of real cases or something. And I remember one time, and now these were just actors. The judge was uh, Judge Paul Trevor. That was the judge. And I remember one time, there was a girl who was on trial on juvenile court, and she was chewing bubble gum. She was sitting there like this. And she was chewing bubble.
trouble come in the courtroom. And the, the judge got mad. And the judge said, and the judge, well, she didn't bubble, but she was chewing bubble gum. And the judge got mad. And the judge, and the, judge the judge made her get rid of it. So she takes it out, sticks it under the table. And I thought the judge, I don't think the judge noticed, because if he did, he would have really gotten mad. But uh, this girl who was on trial, she was like a real smart aleck, too. But I think, I guess she was, I guess she was really just, just acting, because these weren't the real litigants. These were just, uh, 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 these were just actors and stuff. But I remember at the end of every case, Judge Paul Trevor, he would say, that'll be all. Remember that? Remember that? How cool it was when he said that? I remember, I think it was usually like Saturday evenings. I remember like in the early 80s, I think it was like, it was on a, like Saturday evenings. I remember watching it then. I remember sometimes I had to go to church and I had to miss it. Because sometimes, sometimes we had to go to church on Saturday evenings. And I ended up missing it. But, um, and I remember, I remember one time I, well, I remember like getting in trouble for stuff when I was like seven or eight. And then people would say, you're going to end up on juvenile court. <laughs> And I thought they meant the TV show, but really they had an actual court. So, uh... So that's how... That's the story of Channel 9 in the 70s and the early 80s. And, uh... Supposedly, there was a couple other stations all over the country that used the same jingle. Like, so somebody said there was a station in North Carolina that had, that was at Channel Nine, and they used the exact same jingle. I don't know if they did the same uh, like round, like curvy nine. It would be cool if they did. And up until about two, at least two thousand two, Channel Nine, Channel Nine's headquarters used to be down by uh, down by Cincinnati City Hall up until about 2002, and their building still had that same nine on it. Remember that big, that big nine? That, the, the curvy nine? They actually still had that, that on their building, as, at least as late as 2002, and maybe even a couple years after that, but then they, they moved their building, they moved their headquarters. They, they used to be down by City Hall, then they moved down by I think down by Eden Park or something. <sighs> Channel 9. That's the story of one of the most memorable jingle packages ever used by a local broadcasting station.